guys, for today's craft, I'll need lots of cardboard. What are we making? We'll make a safe, Sam. A safe? Phew, we already made a safe and a crypt text. I know how they work. I'll just crack the code and open it. Do you remember the videos with the safe and the crypt text? Give a thumbs up if you do. It's not just any safe. It has three levels of protection. I'll have the code, and you'll have the key. And we'll start with the combination lock. We'll need four cardboard circles with two centimeters in the diameter. One's done, and here's three more. I'll make one circle out of two so it's easier to spin it. Careful here. We'll be rotating it when entering the code. Let's wrap the edge of the circle carefully so it's more convenient and pretty. Zero, one, two, three. It's just ten digits. What if I guess the code? I really don't think so. We will make five combination locks. Now turn away. I need to think of a good code combination. Hmm, I wonder what it is she will think of. My birthday or hers? This part is a bit bigger in diameter. It'll keep the door closed if the wrong digit is set. What code to set? Huh, I know. This funny part will be the front of the safe, and that's where the locks will be. Let's make some holes for them. And here, the top combination locks will go. Let's set two digits. And I will attach these parts to the other side. I want it to work really well. Right, guys? <laughs> and here, very neatly, glue the parts together. <laughs> Can I turn back already? Just a little longer. I'll make three more locks out of circles that are three centimeters in radius. These locks will work differently. That's why we draw the digits like this on a different side. And to open the safe, you'll need to know three more digits. Not that simple. Now I have to connect these four parts together before attaching them to the safe. Oh, how interesting! I will definitely try to crack your code! <laughs> you can try! A three-digit lock can have 1,000 combinations! We'll attach these three locks to the same front wall. Only a little bit left. Hmm, what code should I set here? Uh-huh. Ah, uh, yes! <laughs> and now let's secure these parts that are two centimeters in radius. Now the lock will only open with the right code. The bolt will be moving on these sticks. And it'll be located here. I'll glue it to the front right above the revolving parts. And add another support stick for the bolt so it doesn't fall down. These little parts will let us open and close the lock with the correct code. We'll set them right here on the bolt. Oh. I'm too impatient to just stand here and wait. I'll go check on my surprise! This part will prevent the bolt from leaving the safe area. The rubber band will let it get back into place. Now, the key will only move the bolt if the code is entered correctly. You can look now, Sam. Uh, Sam? Sam! Where did you go? One sec, let me just check something. But we're getting to the most interesting part. Uh, oh, I'll be right back. Sam's acting really weird. Guys, what do you think he's up to? Write your guess in the comments. I'm back. Everything is fine. Great. Now, Sammy, we'll make the key that you will hold on to. My precious! Give it to me, or you'll be able to open my safe. Wait. We'll need it for later to check if everything works. So much waiting. I bet you can't wait to see our save either, guys. Give a thumbs up if I'm right. Be patient, Sammy. These parts will be able to keep the key in the keyhole. Like this. Now I'll need the key to check if our system is working. <gasps> awesome! It works great! Look, Sammy! I can finally get my key back! Not yet. I'll need it for another lock. Another lock? Yep. We have five combination locks, and we also need to hide them behind the key locks. Let's make this part. I'll let the key grant access to the top two combination locks. I need a rubber band, and 
and attaching it here. And one more part for the support. Gotta be careful. And glue it right here. And pull the rubber band to the side, like this. Now everything starts with your key. I just need to finish the front of the safe and build the body. And you bring whatever you need to hide. Awesome! Finally! I'll go get it, but don't you peep. Let's add some decorations to our safe. I said decorations! Sam! Huh. Usually he runs when he hears this word. Oh well. Do, 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 do. It's time to put the safe together. This part will be the bottom. I'll attach the door with the locks right here in the middle. Just a drop of glue. These hooks won't let you open three bottom locks unless the code is entered on the top. And one more. The last three locks will be hidden behind this door. And this is how it works. This is the side wall. Let me glue it to the bottom. And it has two doors. This door is opened by the key, and there are two combination locks behind it. And the keyhole for Sam's key is behind the second door. Here I am! Is everything ready? One minute, Sammy. I need to attach the most important part where you'll be storing your items and also the walls. This door can only be opened if you know the combination and have the key. I have the key and it's so pretty! Guys, did you see Sue's code? Write me in the comments! <gasps> Sam! Sorry, I can't wait to get my surprise inside! I'll set up the bottom and the wall. Here you'll be keeping your things. Cool. I think it'll be dark enough. Enough for what? Nothing, nothing. <sighs> and the back is ready. And let's get the top in place. Done! Our safe is ready! Wow! So wonderful! So cool! And secure. Should we open it to hide your surprise? Let's turning and opening! Yay! Now turn away. I'll enter the code. Oh my! Turning again! What was the code? Aha! Mm -hmm. Done. Oh, awesome! <laughs> it won't open! <laughs> of course! Uh, wait, that's not it. Uh, turn away! We have three more locks. Here, now I need your key, Sammy. Finally! Thank you. Let's see here, and turn. And now you can put whatever you want in here. Now you turn away! Fine. Da -da 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 -da. Now we close it. Okay, Sammy. Now I just need to do the same, but in reverse order. It's so cool, guys. I feel like I'm walking away something very valuable. And I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> it's been two weeks. We can open the safe now and see what happens. Sam, what's that? Take it out and see! Uh, are these raisins? Yes! Two weeks ago, I put away grapes. And now they've become yummy sweet raisins! Mm, so yummy! I was afraid I'd eat it before it was ready. <laughs> That's why the say. Hey everyone, Samantha's here with her incredible crafts. It's Slime Sam's channel, actually. Yeah, yeah, well, you may assist me if you like. Of course I do! Hi, wait a minute. Good, go cut these sticks into squares. I can do that. Of course you can. Right, this craft consists of many different small pieces, and I'll write the measurements on the pieces themselves. For convenience, so pay attention to that. 
By the way, Sam shouldn't guess what I'm making this for, okay? What shouldn't Sam guess? What I'm going to ask you to do next. Well, I really have no clue. What are we making? Curiosity <laughs> killed the cat. Oh no, I won't be curious. I care oh, about Fluffy. Oh, good for you. Right. Um, I don't have any rubber bands. Get me a few. Oh, I'm an errand slime again. But I'm an artiste. I want to create! If you grumble, I'll make this craft without you, uh, Mr. No, Artist. Uh, no grumbling! I'm off. Go on! <laughs> and I'll start assembling the lock mechanism. First, I'll take this piece and cut a rectangle in it. Well, I don't think I need to remind you that you should be careful with the cutter. Fingers are quite a useful part of your body. Make sure not to cut through cardboard along one side. It'll be a door. And on the back side, we'll cut some openings for the buttons. Sam is making wooden squares for them. Hey, he hasn't brought them yet, and I've already sent him from the rubber bands. I wonder what excuse he'll come up with now. Rubber bands. This is actually quite suspicious. And if Samantha's hiding something from me, maybe you know what she's hiding. Write in the comments! And I'll continue searching for the rubber bands. No idea where they are. But I can do it! But, uh, subscribe to the channel, please, to give me confidence. It feels like I've forgotten something. And the last one. These are the openings for the buttons we've made. Turn it over. Let's start making the lock. We'll need two solid sticks. They'll go right here, and three sticks with notches. The notches should be right under the button openings, like this. Let's lay them out, like this, and secure them with glue, one drop on each side of the stick. Don't glue the grid itself, it should move freely. To hold the grid in place, we'll need these pieces made of two sticks. Let's glue them in place. I'll use hot glue gun this time, it should hold really well. There! And I'll repeat the process with the second piece. The same few steps. This will allow the grid to move. And let's add a stopper to make sure the grid doesn't fall out. Great! Now let's make levers for the buttons. That's actually my secret for the mechanism. Look, these pieces are for the correct numbers that will unlock the safe. And these are for the numbers that aren't part of the code. We need to glue each of these pins to wooden squares, which Sam was supposed to bring a long time ago. Someone said Sam and wooden squares? We are here in a flash. Yeah, your flash almost blinded me. Give them here. Hmm, well done. And where are the rubber bands? Still searching. Am I supposed to look for them myself? Well, I didn't find them. Someone hid them somewhere. Someone hid them and someone can find them. For example, one slime I know. Yeah, yeah, I get the hint. I'm off. Hmm, and if we are out of rubber bands, then it won't work. Let's hope for the best. Guys, do you think rubber bands and crafts can be replaced with something else? Write in the comments. And the buttons are done. Now I'll turn it over. And we need to glue the frame for our code lock. I'll apply some glue to the sides of the frame. They are narrow, so they need extra attention. Carefully now. And done. Now we need to insert all buttons. I only need to come up with and remember the code. These rubber bands? Yes, well done. Go take a rest. Oh no, I can help! I've heard the word code on my way here. Which code? I can help you come up with it! I'll manage, believe me. You can cut more cardboard pieces. Uh, I mostly do small ones, but fine. Phew, he's gone finally. I'll come up with the code quickly. Pause the video now and try to guess it by writing three numbers from 1 to 9 in the comments. I've got the code. All lever buttons are inserted and secured. Look, here are large sticks with openings. And here are the small ones. And the rubber band. I'll make a holder for the rubber band. One. And two. Let's attach it. Great! Uh, I still have no clue what you're making. Do you remember about Curiosity and a cat? Okay, I'll go play with Fluffy! Right. I'll glue the stopper that will keep the door closed, like this. Now look, if you press the right numbers, the grid moves and the door opens. And if the numbers are incorrect, the grid will stay in place and the door will remain closed. That's approximately how real code locks work, but of course, they aren't made of cardboard. However, I think a cardboard save will be enough to let Sam know what I mean. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Right. Now I need to make a mechanism that will reset the code. It's a very important thing, because otherwise the code can only be entered once, and who needs that? Let's make a grid out of these sticks. I will add three drops of glue onto the grid. 
Now we'll need a stick with a rubber band on it. And we'll glue it to the grid. To install that part into the lock mechanism, we need to glue little pieces with oval openings. I'll insert the stick into the opening and glue the second little piece. Let's add several pieces made of sticks. Now it's time for the thread. Uh, what? Oh, was it your thread? I thought it was for playing with Fluffy. You've played with it, all right. Fine. I'll cut off the fluffy end and pull the thread through the opening. I need to tie it tightly. Sam, don't just stand there. Go get a black marker. I'll need it soon. How soon? Well, I don't know. In a couple of minutes? Okay. Right. Look. If you press the buttons and then pull the thread, the buttons will reset. Here is the reset button itself. Let's insert it into the opening and turn it over again. I'll pull the thread through this opening. Uh, it's almost like threading a needle. Well, maybe it's just a bit bigger. Now we'll cover it with a little box. Here we'll need special wood glue again. I will apply it to the bottom of our little box. I need to secure the thread with glue as well. Can there be too much glue? <laughs> and cut off the excess. Now we need to make holders for the rubber bands on both sides of the little box. The pieces are so small, I need to use a special tool for this step. Great! Let's pull the rubber bands over. I hope it holds. Done! The bottom works! And these pieces will make a handle for opening the safe. A bit of cardboard magic. Fantastic! And on the back side, we'll glue the holders to block the door if a wrong code is entered. These pieces are so small, but without them, the code lock isn't going to work. That's right. Look, if the code is correct, the handle turns and the grid moves. And if the code is incorrect, the stopper won't allow the handle to turn. Isn't that genius? I'm so excited. I don't want to stop until I assemble the whole safe. I only need to assemble the cardboard pieces now. Here they are! And the marker too. Yes, well done. First of all, let's assemble the box that will cover the code lock mechanism. Samantha, I think I know what you're making. And? A toy fridge. A fridge? Well, yes. For your doll. Not in front of the viewers. <laughs> well, you know what I'm really making here. Not for dolls at all. Right. Let's glue the box in place. Great. To make sure the door doesn't slam, we'll glue small stoppers. Pieces like these. It's gotta be a fridge. You, Mr. Fridge Lover. You'd better get me a snack from the real fridge. I've been sitting here crafting for ages. Fine. And I'll assemble the safe box itself. It's easy peasy. That's it. I only need to take the black marker and mark the parts of the code lock. Reset all the numbers. And I also need to show which way the handle opens. There. I'm gonna show you the code now. Just shh, don't tell Sam. I'm applauding those of you who guessed the right combination. Samantha, the fridge is kind of empty, but I brought you something from my own stash. Give them here. Oh, thank you, dear Sam. And? And that's it. Now these are mine. They are in the safe with a code lock, but I'm not going to tell you the code. But I've been helping you! But you've been stealing my candies. 